Hey Casa de Garcia, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. My name is Christina, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make these delicious fish tacos. With a purple and green pico mix, some delicious guacamole, this creamy chipotle sauce, some beer batter made with my favorite beer, Corona. These were a huge hit, perfect for Lent or any time. So yeah, if this sounds like something you wanna watch, go ahead and continue to watch. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and here we go. Okay, so this is the stuff we're gonna use. So we're gonna make some pico de gallo cabbage mix. We're gonna do some guacamole, and then we're gonna do some red pickled onions. And these are all the veggies that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and go wash off, well, pretty much rinse, wash all my veggies, and then we're gonna start cutting them. If you cut them like this, they go in a circle like that. So then if you slice them like that, and then you just kind of go with the circle, it makes them into cubes. My camera kept adjusting its lighting for some reason, so sorry about that. See. Okay, got our onion in there. Now we're gonna cut our tomatoes. I thought I was recording, so I had to go ahead and bring over some footage from my phone. You could see and hear the lemon. So now I'm gonna just cover it and just let it sit there and shake it up every once in a while. I barely got these at Costco like two or three days ago, but they're already feeling pretty soft. So, okay, not too bad.
So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take half. I'm gonna just give it a quick little mix of the pico de gallo that I already had made. And then I'm gonna put half with the cabbage and then half for the avocado. Then I'll just go ahead and give that a little mix. And then I'm still gonna add some cucumber to this. After mixing it together, I felt it needed a little bit more salt, so I went ahead and added a little bit more. You always want to taste your stuff and adjust as needed. With the other half of the pico, I'm going to add the four avocados that I'm cutting up. I'm going to add one more lemon. Little bit of salt. You could keep it as lumpy or smash down as you want. I may just leave this in little chunks. Taste it and adjust as needed. One and a half cups of mayonnaise. I used about two thirds cup of crema mexicana two-thirds of the can of the chipotle peppers but make to your desired spiciness I squeezed in about a half of a lemon and then I mixed it taste it and adjust as needed also if you want it a little more runny go ahead and add a little bit of water okay so I cut these in about three. So we're just gonna salt them up a little bit. A little bit of pepper. Again. Yeah, and then just get them ready to start dipping. Okay, we're gonna put two cups of flour. Two tablespoons of baking powder. One tablespoon of old bay seasoning. A heaping teaspoon of garlic powder and a heaping teaspoon of onion powder. Go ahead and put that in there. An egg. A little bit of pepper. Add a teaspoon. Some salt. And some beer. So this is 24 ounces of beer. So I'm just gonna add some and then I'm gonna stir it and then I'm gonna add a little bit more and we'll see till we get our desired consistency. Mix, 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 and it will come together. Okay, bye. Okay, this is the finished batter, and I used almost a whole 24 ounces of uh, Corona. Just a little bit down there left. So yeah, you want like a pancakey mix, and then it will thicken as it sits, so right now I'm just gonna put a little flour there, get some oil heated up, then I'll start dipping these and frying them. Also, I forgot to Cut my cucumber, and I want these thin, thin little pieces inside of the cabbage pico. Since I'm only adding one, thin and just like little pieces.
You don't need a thermometer, but if you have one, you want it to be about 350 for deep frying. And as of right now, yep, it's at 350. So we're gonna go ahead and start frying these up. Okay, we got our shrimp with a little bit of salt and pepper. We have our beer batter mix. And then I put a little bit of flour in here. So I'm just gonna dip it in the flour a little bit, then into the batter, and then I'm gonna fry it. And take a piece and come over here and just dip it in a little bit of flour. It doesn't have to be like, you know, then into the batter. at how golden and delicious those look. So I'm gonna go ahead and warm up some tortillas and then make my hubby his. So originally I was gonna make some corn tortillas with the maseca, but this is like three hours later because I was vlogging and vlogging all by myself and it was a lot of prep work, a lot of work. At the end it was already almost nine o'clock. So I said, you know what? We're just gonna make warm up some corn tortillas and put these together. Okay, all done. I definitely wish I would have made the tortillas, but they still came out good. Now time for the taste test. Are they? Are they? Mm -hmm. No, they are good. You can taste some beer. <laughs> what the? Mm. Mm -hmm. Now to make mine. They're good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this was my first time making these and let me tell you, they actually came out really, really good. The fish was nice and fluffy and crispy and just everything just went together well. All the different things. It was a labor of love, that's for sure, but it was definitely worth it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave me some comments down below. Let me know how you make yours. If you make this, please tag me, let me know. And hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and talk to you guys later later.